Hey guys, how you doing? Matty Marr here from Pro Swing of Porchester. Today is the first video in our Outfield series. Today we're going to talk about how to catch a pop-up. We're going to break it down into two parts. The how, mechanically how your body, your feet, your hands should be when you catch a pop-up. And the second is the where, where your body should be. We're going to talk about getting behind the ball. It's going to be a fun tip. Let's get into it. Here we are, wide open. You can see my body. We're going to talk about the how first how we catch a fly ball mechanically where we are. Let's start from the bottom up. I've seen athletes do three different ways with their feet and there's only one correct way. Let me show you the correct way first. It's your glove side foot being a little in front of your other foot. So it's right here, glove side foot forward. This deals with our throw. Let me explain in a second. The wrong ways, flat foot. We don't want to catch a ball in the outfield flat foot and we especially don't want to catch a ball in the outfield with our throwing side foot forward. Why? Here's why. From here, to make that throw, it's going to have to be a one, two, three step process that's too long. When we're flat footed, we're not athletic, we maybe can make it two steps, but it's gonna take a long time. With our glove side foot forward, when we catch it, we're here, we have our one step, our two step, and we throw. In other videos, we'll talk about our crow hop and getting our momentum going forward. But mechanically, from the bottom, glove side foot a little forward. Okay, we've talked about our feet and where we want our feet to be. Moving up our body. We don't want to be turned when we're catching a ball. We don't want to be here catching a fly ball. We don't want to be here. We want to be squared up with that baseball as we catch it, okay? As we move even further up, now we're talking about our arms, our glove. We want to catch the ball between our shoulders. We want it, we want it to be within our shoulders. That's very important. We want to catch outside our body because then we have to bring the ball back inside our shoulders to make that throw. Now dealing with your arm, a lot, a lot of young athletes, instead of catching the ball like this, they start to turn that glove. And when you turn that glove, you're lessening the surface area where you can catch that ball. And more importantly, you can let the gr let gravity take over. You start dipping here, that elbow comes up high and you're catching balls like this. It's imperative that we keep our palm up. It's thumb to thumb right here. Thumbs up to the sky as we catch that ball. We move our body. We don't get here and then lean over and catch like that. Yes, of course, on a ball that's not on our glove side, that's maybe in the gap, we may have to make a catch like this. But ideally, if we can get behind it, we want to catch the ball within our shoulders. We want to be thumb to thumb right here. Glove side, foot forward, and we want to catch it like this. Be careful, don't let that arm turn, don't let that elbow go up. It's right here. Now we're gonna deal with drop steps, taking a drop steps. This is how we get behind the baseball. This is on the fly ball that's over our head. Now if there's a fly ball in that direction over our head, what we don't wanna do is run in, see the ball up and then come back like this. No, we want to take a good drop step. And a good drop step will give us the best angle to the ball, and it'll get us behind the ball. So don't we want to turn and go in a straight line? We don't want to do that. So if we're here and there's a ball over my shoulder, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here. I'm opening up right here and then I'm coming back here so I can get behind it. I'm here, get the footwork, bam, and I come up here. I'm not going to turn and come here. That's a tough angle. I'm not going to be able to get behind that. I'm going to drop step. I'm going to be here. That's my first movement. Here it is. There it is. Bam. I'm back. I see it. I come around. The ball's up. Catch. And come through. If that's where the ball's going to land, we don't want to take a drop step right at it or come in and go back or anything in between. The idea is when we take our drop step, we want to go straight back. This way, we can have a better angle and get our body behind the ball. So when that pop-up's coming down with our body behind it, we can now create momentum towards our target. I got it. I got it. All right, guys, let's talk about everything we discussed today. You hear me just say, I got it, I got it. It's about communication. We're going to do another video about that, communicating with other outfielders. But this video, we talked about how we catch a ball mechanically from our feet. Our glove side foot is forward, working up our body. We're square. We want to catch the ball between our shoulders. We don't want to lean both ways. As far as our hands go, we talked about having our glove here with our other hand right there for support. We don't want to come here. We don't want gravity to take over. We always, always, always want to be behind the baseball. That will set up our momentum, that will get us going in the right direction to get the ball to our infielders. Thanks for watching this week's edition of Pro Swing's Tip of the Week. Tune in next week for another tip that's going to make you a better baseball player.